Hello friends, it's day 13, lucky number 13 I should say, because I never believed in the bad luck associated with this number. I'm not a fan of superstitions in general, well, I'm not a fan of BS and majority of those superstitions regardless of their origin are not even close to the truth. So on this day I was walking all over the Szczecin, when I felt like going somewhere I just went there. As you will see closer to the end of the video, I even met some strange creatures that were really interested in kids, or maybe kids were drawn to them, I couldn't really tell. It's my second day of not drinking coffee and I can honestly say that winning off of caffeine for the last 3 weeks was a great idea as opposed to going cold turkey. I don't feel that bad so far. I can feel more sleepy and I'm more fatigued, but I can handle it. I don't have an excruciating headache that some people associate with a coffee detox. I got up 2 minutes before my alarm ran off. So far so good. I can't wait to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. One more disadvantage is that I feel much more hungry when I'm off coffee. Caffeine has its way to suppress hunger, so now I need to be using more willpower to avoid sweets. And I have a sweet tooth. And I already eat a lot during this challenge. I hope this crazy hunger will go away. Be gone Satan! Doing steps is sometimes a pain, and although not drinking coffee is not killing me, it is affecting me. So I'm dragging my feet more and I'm in the mindset of why did I actually decide to do that challenge? Masochist, probably. 10,000 steps is a bloody joke. 20,000 is easy, but 30,000 repeated every day is just enough to take me out of my comfort zone. Find the zone that is slightly outside of your comfort zone and do it. Let's go! Okay peeps, that's all. Stay strong, do your steps and see you in the next video which is day 9. I'm 